Hi guys, I'm Justin Swanstrom, and I'm a fat <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Justin Swanstrom, and I like to suck a <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Justin Swanstrom, and I like to snoodle. <laughs> like scissoring, but two dicks. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Justin Swanstrom. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Justin Swanstrom. Welcome back to my <laughs> YouTube video. I don't sound like that, dude. Like How can you get enough? No, it's not, because I don't sound like that. All right, I gotta go. <laughs> I'm Justin Swanstrom. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. We're gonna be inside the shop today because today I'm gonna show y'all some of the work that we're gonna be doing on Alcatraz. It is sold, guys. Uh, I made a post a couple days ago talking about it, but I haven't really came out and told anybody. A deposit has been sent in. It is uh, locked down. We got to do some work on it to get it ready for the new owners. They will be coming down in a few weeks to pick it up. All right, guys, so I'm holding the mic in my hand because I don't want to put it under my shirt yet. I'll get to that here in a little bit. It's just too hot out here right now, but... Uh, we shot a video yesterday. We went out to Bradenton Motorsports Park with the Street Outlaw No Prep Kings car on 275s. Ran some good numbers, shot some serious flames. I told y'all boys that the Bullhorns were going to put out some serious flames. But uh, I brought James on board. He is on payroll now. He's going to be working with us at Swan Productions, Swan Gang YouTube channel, shooting videos, editing, helping me out, and uh, just letting me be able to be more free and go around and do things. So yesterday's video was all his shots, all his edits. Uh, we did did read some of the comments I wanted y'all to be a hundred percent truthful like y'all always are and y'all did not disappoint so we went through we read the comments we do know that the audio was down a little bit we also know the quality of the image on some of the stuff was down so we are gonna work on that we want to get better and we only want to bring, bring y'all bangers to this channel so I'm gonna let him use some of my equipment use some of his equipment we're gonna work together mics lenses i have no problem uh putting back into the channel to make the quality of the image the quality of the sound a hundred percent better so i just wanted to get that out of the way real quick we'll be introducing him a little bit more later on in this video but enough of me talking because i know y'all don't want to see my beautiful face no more let's go ahead and show you around the car and explain what we have to take out of this thing and what we have to put back in it to get it ready for the new owners all right guys so as you can see we're going around we're looking at everything uh, today's video we will be solely focusing on taking out the wiring and electronics in the car. Uh, the guys that bought this car, they bought it as a bare roller chassis. With that being said, that means that we get to take the motor, the transmission, the converter, rear gear out of the car, all the wiring, electronics, and plumbing. Shifter goes with the transmission because I have to keep that stuff as a spare. So today we will be taking all the wiring and stuff out. In the next couple videos you'll see of this car, we will be uh, dropping the transmission. We will be switching it over from radio versus the world trim over to pro mod trim because they did buy it in pro mod trim. So we'll be putting big tires and bars on it, getting all the weight off of it, getting everything situated, all cleaned up, looking beautiful as ever on the ground, front end on it, because in a few weeks they will be heading down here to pick this car up and uh, run some I think this five inch racing is what they're going to do with this car. They're going to put a five inch motor in it and go run some of the big dog shootouts and uh, some stuff up north. Uh, and it's going to be a phenomenal car. I had a very fun time with it. Me, Big Daddy Brian, Big Country, Mike Starvino's got to drive in this thing. Uh, we went 364 at 204 mile an hour. So we've been very fast with it. Uh, it's all around just a good car and I know these guys whenever they come down here and see it when they come down here and get it and when they get it back running and back out of the track they will not be disappointed it's got all the best of the best on it all carbon fiber inside it all titanium around it because you know I'm kind of fat so I had to keep everything lightweight as can be uh, but it'll be very light it'll be very fast and it'll be very pretty whenever it goes down the track. All right guys, so it is extremely hot out here in the shop. As y'all know, it's hot out here every day. We are still in the process of working, trying to figure out how we can get AC up inside here. Uh, if you do, I need y'all to go over to the website, www.swangang.com, pick up some more hats, some more shirts. Uh, everything that y'all do purchase goes to the race cars, goes to the shop, goes to buying nitrous. So it's only supporting that. And I do appreciate each and every one of y'all that is doing it. We are still doing the two tickets to paradise. Every $10 you spend on the website, you get two tickets, boys. 
next month, I'm flying two of y'all out here. I will pick you up on a uh, Friday. I'll drop you back off on a Sunday. You get to come hang out at the shop. You get to hang out with me, Big Daddy Brian, Big Country, Eric, Art, Cody, Uncle Mike, all of us. We're all gonna be here. We're all gonna have a good time. We're also gonna be bringing James with us as two. Actually, let me go ahead and just turn the camera around real quick so y'all can uh, see him. Right here. So uh, this is James. We had to get rid of Dimebag Noah. He got in trouble for selling to the kids. So. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I heard they were strippers though, and I'm here. So. so I put an ad out and I was telling everybody that we love to race, we love to have fun, we get to shoot with cars, and there's a possibility there will be strippers. So he hit me up, and in his email, the only thing that he was excited about was the strippers. That's the only part I about. <laughs> so I brought him on, he shot a good video. We do gotta work on some things, boys. Uh, we already know that, we've already established more. We're shooting with my camera today. We're shooting with my microphone, getting everything ready. I just bought a new lens, so we're able to zoom in because y'all did like when he zoomed in on the car going down the track. So there's some things that I learned. There's some things that I learned from y'all on the channel, and there's gonna be some things that he's gonna learn from all of us to be able to uh, shoot better videos, better audio quality, and just put out way better content for the YouTube channel. We wanna keep growing this thing. We're on our way to 50,000 subscribers. We're gonna get there, boys, but I can't do it without y'all, so y'all don't ever forget that. Y'all are what makes this train move. Y'all are the fuel, and me, James, and the crew, we're just over here rowing, trying to get it on to go down the tracks. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go around real quick, and we are going to take all the weight out of the car. We're gonna get it put on the ground, so y'all are gonna get to see how much weight we actually had inside this thing to be able to run the class. Uh, with this car, running Pro 275 was the first class I was able ever to run in. Where I had to put weight inside the car. I actually felt somewhat of accomplished. Uh, but uh, I do know I need to lose some weight. I need to go on a diet. I've just been so busy. But with bringing James on board, it's going to be able to free up some of my time. So we are going to be going to the gym now, boys. I know I've said that in the past and I haven't lived up to it. But we are going to be doing it. It's going to give me some free time. I'm also able to work more on the cars while he's behind the video and while he's doing all the editing, getting the bangers out for y'all. So it's going to be all around a better scene for the Swan Gang crew and the YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and start taking weights off. Ow, bitch. Good thing about how bringing James on to be able to do these videos, boys, uh, I'm able to move around more into the car and not actually have to hold a camera. So basically not kind of like a vlogging style. It's basically just a camera that's gonna be following me around and follow the crew around at all times. Y'all liked all the different scenes that he did at Bradenton to where uh, he was showing different stuff. He also put the tags in for the social medias, which I'm gonna have him do that from now on because you'll get to see who's all talking at all times. Uh, it just gives y'all a better idea of who y'all are watching, who y'all are talking to, and who y'all can relate with. Well, let's go ahead and jump under the rear end and let's get this weight out as well. And then we're gonna count it all up to see what all we had in there. I'm able to just hop up in here, do whatever I got to do. I thought I almost dropped that on my toe. I can't 
seat. Oh, it would be a different size. There's a lot of weight inside this car. And actually, some of the weight, I think 25 pounds I took out so I could put inside the no prep car. Um, the only one we got is that one, but that's a different deal. Everything else, uh, the car. So what we got to take out today, boys, is uh, the weight, the electronics, uh, all the plumbing. The motor is already out of the car. We have to take the transmission and converter out. Uh, the drive shaft goes with the car. Uh, shifter stays with us because it does go to the transmission. That's what we'll use for a spare in the no prep car. The rear center section comes out of the car. It's already out now because I had to make a gear change for the radials, but that goes out of the car. So basically what they bought was a Rick Jones bear rolling chassis. So boys, you can see on the ground, the weight that we had in there, uh, these are 25 each. So there's 25, 50, 75, 100. Uh, these are five pounds each. So there's five, 10, 15, that is 10. So that's 125 pounds, 130, 140, 145, 150. And there is another five pound puck up at the top. So 155 pounds had to go into the car plus the 25 pounds that I took out to put in the no prep car already. So we're looking at what's that 175, somewhere in that area uh, to be able to put in this car to run Pro 275. So we had to add a lot of weight. This is a very light car with a 160 pound driver for RVW. We were able to weigh 2,220 pounds. We had to add 40 pounds in it. That would put us at 2,260 with Mike inside the car. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I don't mess nothing up. Not making no promises. Y'all how hot it is out here in the shop. <laughs> this is horrible, bro. We need to get some AC, guys. So guys, I know this is gonna be a boring video. We're just gonna be taking stuff out. Uh, we'll be talking a little bit about the car. We have the no prep car. Uh, it's got 275s on it right now. It is actually inside the trailer. Um, we will be taking it out this week, probably tomorrow, Tuesday to be able to, uh, we're going to go ahead and tear down the passenger side and put new rings in it to get ready for Darlington, just because we're going to be spraying a bunch of nitrous. And I don't want to do what happened over at the Orlando race where we didn't do our pre-maintenance, went over there, made a couple hits, hurt the motor, and then we're trying to slam to get things back together. So, uh, got with dad, he got with me. We're going to go ahead and tear it down, have it all hundred percent ready before we head to Darlington. So when we get there, we're able to smack these boys and girls in the mouth, go a couple rounds. Also locked in the grudge race. Uh, Andy Mack, nine o'clock Friday night. I get to put 315s on. That's right, boys. We get to put this tire on now instead of the 275. We're able to hit it harder, go faster, run more mile an hour, everything with it. So it's going to be a lot funner. I hope them boys are ready. We're running for a little bit of money. It's three on $1,500. For y'all that don't know what three on $1,500 means, uh, it's a $300 deposit. And if the race goes down, it's for $1,500 or better. So if we make some shakedowns, they make some shakedowns. They decide that they want to up the pot, they can up it. You hear people talk about one on five, two on 10. That just means that the DP is $2,000. If they run the race, it's 10,000. So if I don't make it, Andy don't make it, the opponent gets the $300 or in other aspects, you get the two grand, 1,000. I've ran races for five on 25,000. That means if the other person didn't show up, they owed me five grand. Uh, we've ran a lot of races, a lot of big money shootouts. We've done very well with it, but uh, that's just explaining how the grudge term is, three on 1,500. So Friday night, nine o'clock, three on 1,500. Aftermath, the Camaro versus the blue truck bipolar both on 315s, gonna lay it down. 
we're gonna see who's what, who's made of what, and see who comes out the uh, undisputed champ. All right, guys, so as you can see real quick, go ahead and look on the ground. We're starting to get some stuff out. We also got all of this right here. It's all piled up. It's coming out nice and easily. Uh, Modern Racing is who uh, wired this car. They're the only ones that wire all my cars. Uh, they've done a total of four for me. They're the best in the business. Justin, Mitch, all the guys over at Modern Racing, they take very good pride in their work. Uh, they help me out tremendously uh, on the track, off the track customer support i can call them guys at 1 a.m 2 a.m they'll answer if we have anything we got to troubleshoot but uh we haven't had no issues but we're going through right now we're just taking everything out a lot of it is plug and play you're able to take this harness out of this car and i can go put it in another car or do whatever i want to do with it most of it's just going to come through cutting all the zip ties if you can see down inside there we got zip ties for days in here boys so uh with that being said we're going to keep on knocking it out just wanted to give you all a quick little update Keep on rolling, we'll get the nitrous relays out, we'll get all the wiring for the transmission, battery, uh, training brake, parachute over there, get everything situated. Once we get that stuff out of the car, we'll be able to clean it up, get everything wiped down, and then we gotta officially start changing everything over to Pro Mod trim. Uh, I said earlier, it's in radio versus the world trim, so that means different struts, different shocks, different wheels, different tires, everything situated, wheelie bars, all that's gotta go on, but before we, attack that let's go ahead and get everything out of the car so we could have room get everything situated for these boys all right you go fishing today or not yeah so what the hell did you do all day today worked at the house bro cut the grass trim some trees off the fence line did you ever clean those windows you were supposed to clean no i did not <laughs> you leaving that till the end yeah she said something else about it today so when are you supposed to do it? When are you going to pressure wash the windows on the house? <laughs> you going to wait till next weekend? Maybe. <laughs> if I don't go fishing. If he don't go fishing. That's right, boys. We also got, you know, James. He's uh, new to the channel. He's new to the squad. Just because he's going to be behind the camera does not mean that he won't be working on the cars as well. We got him doing everything and anything. So uh, he's going to be rolling through. He's a very good asset to the team. Uh, got him put on uh, Swan Production Payrolls. Actually, my first employee art what's that right first employee let's go we got sns grading everybody works for mom and dad i got my first employee guys yeah. got gonna be able to pay weekly everything going on i want to keep on expanding oh go ahead and pop that wire off and that thing will be able to come out that back just side right yeah just uh there you go and uh you have to cut that zip tie or do whatever you gotta do right here so we can keep that wire with that coil but uh, we're going through. We're taking everything out of the car, boys. As you can see, Art just showed up. He's going to give us a hand. We got the wiring coming out. We got the, the bolt heads. We got most of the, the harness off the front of the car. We got a bunch of mess going on inside the car, but we're getting it done. Everything's situated. We're doing what we need to do. And then we're going to go ahead and move to the rear of the car and get the harness done out of the rear of the car. Get everything ready for these guys i'm kind of sad that it's going uh but you never know what's going to happen next uh, i don't know where what we're going to do or where we're going to go with uh, the money or the racing for this type deal i mean we're still going to have the no prep car plus the 275 car with the ls car coming to the channel and uh being part of the team i might possibly put a third car together well boys we're on the home stretch got a couple more little pieces i gotta cut and we'll be able to get the, the, all the wiring and everything out of the car and move on to what we want to next. Should all just come out. Gordon? Simple as that. Ain't that how you say it, Art? Yeah. Simple as that. Uh, it looks a lot nicer when it's inside the car, guys. We're not wiring experts. That's why we leave it to the professionals, but uh, we got the harness out of the car. We got everything down here on the ground. We got the weights out. We're gonna take the boxes, get everything out of the car. The EFI electronic, get those things out. Uh, then we're gonna go ahead and uh, just start cleaning some stuff up, get that thing ready. And whenever we get done with that, we'll possibly start dropping the transmission out of the car. 
Got to get shifter. Shifter stays with the transmission. Uh, and then the only thing that we'll have left to do will be change the shocks, struts, wheels, tires, put wheelie bars on it, uh, get everything set on the ground, everything all nice and cleaned up and uh, get it rolling out of here. I'm not sure they want anybody knowing that they bought it, so we're keeping their, their name in the clear for right now. I will get with them whenever they get here. Uh, ask them if we're able to shoot a video or do all that for y'all. So uh, I will be in touch and uh, seeing if we can do that. But uh, I don't think they're gonna have a problem with it. I just wanna be respectful at first and uh, ask for permission. Uh, some people don't like whenever they're going to buy something, they wanna come out there, they wanna grudge race somebody, they wanna keep it nice and secretive. Uh, but as you can see, it took us about two hours to get everything out of the car. Uh, big old mess down here, but uh, we'll be able to get it and we can actually take this whole harness and put it in a whole other car. Have Justin and the guys over at Modern Racing get it all wired up, get everything ready for us and uh, be back out of the track again if we choose to get another car. I think we are, uh, just how we've always raced. Usually when we sell something, we try to go either upgrade it. I don't think you can get anything higher than this build right here, but there is some races here in Florida that we might want to play around with and have a little fun and uh, go around and kick these boys and girls in the mouth. I don't get to do a whole lot of racing in Florida uh, because the caliber of races that I do require us to do a lot of traveling and out of state stuff, but they have a bunch of racing here in Florida, small tire, 28, 315 deal that we might try to get in. You never know, but if you ain't done it already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you like this video and keep up with us. We got awesome merch. We got an awesome crew. We got an awesome cameraman all around just a full awesome team with the best subscribers and the best viewers out there so if you're viewing this right now and you ain't subscribed you're missing out smash that subscribe button we got a lot of cool shit coming here soon make sure i send you off Yes, I know it's dirty right now. It looks real dirty. Don't worry, we'll get it all cleaned up. It's been sitting in the shop, been collecting dust, uh, but uh, it'll be all cleaned up whenever she's ready to roll outside them doors right there. Hey, you can see me from up here now. What's up, guys? We're able to take the floor pans out of the car. Cause only God knows why. You think I should try out for American Idol? No. I'm about to stick the race out. <laughs> Nothing a little auto-tune can't help. James, you think you can get me singing right? We can do some singing lessons and we can make it a whole video. Auto-tune, we'll come out with our own rap. I'll, I'll make it. a I'll make a pass at 9 o'clock and I'll throw a music video in at 9.15. Yeah. I'm about that. Look at that. And why are we taking these out? One, well, we're gonna get the training out. Later on, I'll take it out today. But uh, two, so I can clean everything up, clean these pans up, get everything. Cause I want it to be, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Tip top shape. Yeah, whenever they come down here. You wanna sit it out looking like a bunch of scrubs? Have yeah, it's, in, it's, been, uh, it's been stuck up here in the shop ever since we built the shop. Collecting dust. All right, guys, so this ain't going to be a super long video. We're going to go ahead and end this vlog out with a bang. We got done what we uh, wanted to accomplish, and that was to get all the wiring and everything out of the car. In the next video, you'll see that uh, we'll be dropping the transmission, getting the shock struts off so we can put the other stuff on uh, to be able to get set up in big tire trim, wheelie bars, all that. Everything's situated for the boys to come down here, pick the car up. So when they go back up north, they're able to put their stuff in. Uh, get the chassis situated, go out there and lay down some serious passes. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I know it was kind of boring, but this is some of the stuff that we do behind the scenes that a lot of people actually don't show y'all. So uh, y'all got to officially see how wiring comes out of the car. Modern Racing, they're in uh, Mooresville, North Carolina. Best wiring group out there. Uh, you can see how easy it was. If me and Art were able to take the wiring out, that means anybody can do it, boys. So uh, y'all hit them up, Facebook, Instagram. You can call them, look them up on the internet. They're the best in the business. If you need anything wired, anything electrical, you can hit them guys up. Uh, I want to thank each and every one of y'all. 
that has been buying the merch that continues to buy the merch we're coming out with new stuff here soon i only want to bring the best out there for you i got james on board now uh we're going to be bringing him on a lot more bringing the better content better edits just get all different kind of angles and uh turn around and uh try to have the best youtube channel out there we're growing strong we're at 33,000. we're on our way to 50,000. we're gonna get there but we can't do it without y'all so i need y'all to go ahead smash that subscribe button if you like smashing things go ahead and throw this video a like turn them bell notifications on and keep sharing it with your friends i'll see y'all the next video